Now, after these absolutely astonishing new figures revealed that net migration hit a record high of three quarters of a million last year, Rishi Sunak has been forced to admit that the number of people coming into the UK is far too high. Well, I mean, anyone else could have told him that. Meanwhile, over in the I'm a Celeb jungle, the TikTok star that nobody's ever heard of, Nella Rose, launched a blistering attack on our Brexit hero Nigel Farage, his heinous crime, simply wanting to bring Britain's rampant migration under control. Watch. This is what I was saying it, to you. Apparently, you're anti-immigrants. And you're, who told you, you that? Oh, who the internet. Told, the oh, internet. well, there we are. Then it must be true. Anti-immigrant, right? No, no. All I've said is we cannot go on with, with the numbers coming to Britain that are coming. Do you know why? Do you know I'm why? one of the numbers. Oh, right. So that, so that's it then. So should it be five million a year? Ten million? <gasps> Question. No, right? no, you don't. You don't understand. Nigel, hang on, hang on, hang on. Those wait, wait, immigrants that are you, coming in. And, and I hang came on, in. hang on, hang on, hang on. Had you think, have been in power think, a bit later? Why are you so wrong about think. immigrants? So tonight I'm asking, is Nella's outburst proof that young people don't have a clue about immigration? Let me know your thoughts. GBviews at GBnews.com. Tweet me at GBnews. And while you're there, go and vote in our poll. I'll bring you the results very shortly. But to debate this now, I'm joined by the social commentator, Joanna Jarju, and Reform Party spokesperson, Rupert Lowe. Both of you, thank you very much. Ladies first, Joanna, do you think that the young people are just completely ignorant when it comes to the realities of mass migration? No, I don't think so at all. I, I mean, in terms of watching the episode with um, Nella Rose, I think her delivery was definitely um, quite poor in the way that she articulated herself. Um, but actually, if you listen closely, some of the rebuttals that she had um, to, to Nigel's claims was, you know, things like, well, you know, it's because the an NHS is underfunded. That's one of the reasons why, you know, our public services are struggling at the rate of migration. I think that this is something that's a much wider issue that we have to look at in a, in a kind of holistic holistic way um, when we talk about the levels of migration it's not just about the numbers I mean I've just been listening to a program when you've been talking about net mi migration we left the European Union yet we still needed people from all around the world and these are, these are legal people mm. not even illegal people um, and I think that in terms of it being young people, most people these days, whether you're young or old, tend to get your news from uh, the internet. Most people with a Twitter account, a good... whether you follow deep news or anywhere else. But that, that, that's a really key point. And Rupert, I'll throw that over to you, because to be able to lob out what Nella did, which was to say, essentially, why do all black people hate you and then say, well, the internet tells me they do. I mean, that literally is my concern about whether or not that's the level of debate or understanding amongst the youth of today, Ruben. Well, Patrick, good evening. I haven't, I haven't actually watched too much of I'm a Celebrity. It's not my favourite show, but I have to say the bit I have watched, it appears to me that uh, Nella is always on transmit and very rarely on receive. And, you know, in any ancient society, the elder people, and she's only 26, as far as I understand it, uh, actually their wisdom and their experience is respected usually by most uh, uh, ancient civilizations that have, that have basically gone on to develop properly. I, I think the problem today is, uh, as Joanna just said, uh, the internet and the availability of so much information has meant that a lot of young people don't have the grounding in history or the knowledge of various sort of in-depth knowledge that's required because their attention span is so short. Now, it should be a young person's world now. Uh, they are, they should be taking a lot more interest in politics and hopefully Joanna can spend her time encouraging them to do that. Mm. But I, I, personally, I personally think uh, she needs to listen a little bit more Okay. Uh, clearly, she hasn't got the knowledge that you you'd expect to have from coming from experience. I've read Joanna's comment. She doesn't think anybody over seventy should have a vote, which is quite extraordinary. That's ageist in itself. And the problem is that they're Patrick. They're all poisoned by a lot of these sort of ancient monopolies like the BBC that drip poison okay. into the bloodstream of Britain. So they, they can't tell what's true and what's not. All right. Not. Okay. We get it. I'll come back to you, Rupert. I'll come back to you. Lots of, lots of strong okay, stuff there. Right. Lots of strong stuff. Joanna, I, I'll, I'll get you to come back to that, but I also just want to ask, you know, the, that thing that stood out for me with, with Nella as well was when she says, well, I, I'm one of those numbers. And you think, right, fine, but Nigel was trying to get her to put a figure on, well, well how many is too many? How much can we cope with? And it's clear that she never actually really thought about that. And, and I, I, wor I worry that that's the case for a lot of young people. They go, I'm pro-immigration, yeah, but, but, but think about some elements of it, you know? 
Well, I think that more so from what I saw from the clip. And in fact, actually, let me um, respond to, yeah. I guess, the attack that's just been given. I think you've actually just proved my point that, you know, some people really do just look at sound bites and headlines. And it really isn't about age, because clearly um, what you're referring to about me saying things about older people voting, you clearly didn't go and watch the episode of the topic that I was talking about. You obviously went on a random article or maybe on social media and read a headline so it just shows that actually it's not about you know whether uh, nella is old or young clearly other people go on the internet and they're also very misinformed but i i'll come back to um your question yeah. um as well um well i think that in terms of um immigration and in terms of the the actual comment that was made mm -hmm. i think nigel was also trying to defend himself and i think that you know nella wasn't actually far off because when you look at at Nigel's branding and the things that he talks about the most, it is about immigration. And this isn't yeah. even about young or old because there was another campmate who had a similar conversation with um, Nigel a couple of nights ago, talking about his breaking point poster and the Brexit uh, debate. So he is mm. branded as that. And it's not just Nella because she's young who has that opinion of him. It's mm. also other people it's from other generations as well. Okay. Uh, Rupert, Andrew, I... Andrew, can I just, can I just yeah, say I on immigration, it is not racist to have concerns about immigration, which is clearly out of control. And at the end of the day, immigration in itself is a good thing, but it has to be targeted immigration and it has to basically contribute to our society here. And I, I get that, moment, but, but Rupert, Rupert, I just want to—I just want to get you on, on this because we're a bit pressed for time, right? Which is that I think when some people in the younger generation are confronted by questions like, "Right, do you think that?" everybody coming from a certain part of the world might share your progressive attitudes towards women or to gay rights, for example. It's almost like they very often haven't thought about that, and I'm concerned that someone's thrown a blanket over uh, vast swathes of the younger generation and, and, and told them, you know, mass immigration good and anything else is evil, Rupert. Well, you've got it, Patrick. You've got it with climate change. They're being brainwashed on climate change. They're being brainwashed. They were brainwashed over COVID. They've been brainwashed over diversity and inclusion. They're being brainwashed over unconscious bias. I mean, there's so much rubbish now uh, uh, basically circulating amongst all of our media channels and a lot of our, as I say, monopolistic, uh, you know, operations like the BBC that should be defunded. That people, the young people, and I think Joanna, you're only 29, as far as I can see. When I when I had a look at your profile, I mean, you're hardly really uh, a woman's age on air. To be fair, Rupert, it's not the most sad yeah, thing you've ever done. Yeah, 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 he's already tried to out me with other stuff, so at least it's accurate yeah, about what the, the, the day, society society should be a blend of old and young. There should be respect from right. both. And people should listen to each other and try and try and get to the truth. That's where oh, that's right. where we well, should go. Can I just say I, I will really hope to get you both back on um, either together or separately uh, in future and um, uh, and continue a discussion uh, as well. You know, look, this is a really good clash to, to get us going. So, Joanna, thank you very very much, Joanna Jarji, there, a Reform Party spokesperson, Rupert Lowe, who doesn't look a day over ninety two. So, who do you agree with? All right, after TikTok star, sorry, Rupert, after TikTok star Nella Rose clashes with Nigel Farage in the jungle. Are young people ignorant on the issue of immigration? Well, we're on Twitter now, and Raheem says the problem is younger people view mass migration exclusively through a narrow lens. Their lives are far removed from the awful consequences of uncontrolled migration. Ben on Twitter says, yes, they are ignorant, but they aren't taught to think for themselves anymore. Anyway, we're all naive when we are young. Elliot says, it's not just young people ignorant about immigration. Rishi Sunak has lost control of our borders as well. Look, your verdict is in... Wow, 97% of you agree that the young are ignorant about migration. 3% of you think they are not. Well, the way things are going, they might not be that ignorant about it for too long. And I think we'll see, won't we, whether or not, you know, the ideology that many of them claim to adhere to, whether or not they enjoy living in that. Maybe they will. Maybe they will.